Hi guys, what's up? I'm Tim Queen. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about how to generate amazing content ideas for your YouTube channel. Especially if you're starting out, you have a low number of subscribers, less than 1,000 subscribers. Keep on watching. This video is for you. Now, this is part one of a multi-part series which focuses on different tools and different platforms, how you can generate an unlimited number of content ideas for your YouTube channel. So this is part one, which focuses on my favorite tool, which is called TubeBuddy. And I put the link down in the pinned comment below if you want to download this and do the exercises while I show you how to do it. Now, tip number one is I use the internal YouTube search feature to do a first iteration of brainstorming. So what I do is I have maybe a topic in mind and I start inserting certain keywords into the YouTube internal search and I look up what is coming up. And whenever I see a nice and interesting content idea, I write this down either on a piece of paper or I use my notepad on my computer and I write down keyword ideas. And what I'm gonna do is I spend probably like 10, 20 minutes just writing out different ideas that have come as an inspiration of different YouTube videos that showed up on the search itself. Now tip number two is I watch some of those recommended videos in the YouTube search feed and I click on them, I start watching them and I watch out on my desktop what is recommended as additional videos in the right column. This will also often give you very interesting related video ideas and I also write them down and put them into my list either in writing or on my digital notepad on my computer. Tip number three is I sit down with my piece of paper or with my digital copy of that and I develop further ideas. I use an entire brainstorming session to find other things that I can search for or other ideas that I've been inspired to by watching those videos or ideas just by reading some of the video titles and I add them to the list. Now I have three sources. I have the search results as a source, recommended videos as a resource and my own internal brainstorming. Now tip number four is I use the TubeBuddy Video Topic Planner. Now this is a great tool to plan out all of your YouTube videos from start to finish. The way you wanna do this is you're giving your video a working title and then you can collect additional keywords and information for that particular topic. You can also use the TubeBuddy mobile app to add additional keyword ideas to your video topics. So you can do this on your desktop or if you have like a really cool idea, do it on the go on your phone and this way you stay organized and you're collecting all of your ideas for a specific video so you know exactly what kind of content you can cover in the video itself. Now tip number five is I use the TubeBuddy Keyword Planner. And what we can do in this particular planner, we can find keywords for our YouTube titles as well as recommended video tags. And this is an incredible resource for finding some of the best, most underrated keywords. Now TubeBuddy has an API which is directly linking to the YouTube platform and it can pull out two information for each search term you're putting in. The first one is it will tell you how many people actually search for this and will give you a rating from anywhere from green to red. Green means there's a high search volume. Then the second factor is that it will look for, it will tell you how many videos will show up as a result of this search. For example, you might have a search keyword, which is search for a lot, but you might have 10 billion videos showing up. So that combination is really bad. What you're looking for is high search volume, low number of videos. Those are incredible, powerful video ideas because this makes it most likely that when you are creating a video for this particular topic, some people want to watch it and your video has a probability of showing up because there isn't a lot of competition. Now I use all the ideas that I wrote on on paper, on my little notepad or on my TubeBuddy video content planner and I throw them into the TubeBuddy search and I'm looking at the score and there's two factors that you have to keep in mind. There is one which is based on your particular channel. This is weighted. So TubeBuddy will take into consideration what is your probability of ranking if you are already ranking for a certain number of videos. And then there's the unweighted option, which is just looking at it like a neutral starting point. If you have no videos on your channel, what is the probability of ranking for that? Now, if you're starting out, you can go for the unweighted option because it will give you like a much more clearer probability of what a channel with no subscribers will do. 
if you already are working on a channel and you've created like 50 videos about topic A, you can get a weighted option how likely it would be for you to rank. So what I'm writing down is I, I put in the keyword and I'm writing down the number. What is the, the score? And QPuddy will give you a score from zero to 100 points. The higher the number, the better the score. So I'm writing down the number behind each of the keywords so I get a very good idea which topic ideas have the highest probability of ranking high. Once I have good number of ideas and then I can sort the list and put the best videos at the top so I can do further research on what kind of subtopics I can cover for this particular video. Tip number six, we are still on the TubeBuddy keyword planner, but now we are taking a look at the related search terms. Now you have to keep in mind, this will not work for each search term. You have, it usually works for broader search terms or very popular search terms. So you'll find YouTube has enough data to tell you what are people also searching for, what are other phrases, how people searching for that particular topic. This gives you another angle, how you can find video topic ideas or how you can find interesting title ideas for this specific video that you're working on. Now tip number seven, very related, right next to the YouTube related search terms is the web search terms. And what TubeBuddy is doing here, it will pull out related searches that are people searching for on Google. So you will notice that people search for different keywords. People might go directly to YouTube to search for certain key phrases. But you looking at what are people searching for on Google is a really great way how you can discover even more related keywords and getting more ideas for your video. Now tip number eight, you can also check out the video topics column, which is focusing on clustering different content ideas based on key search phrases, which are already existing on YouTube. It's another way of looking at it in a more structured way where you have this sorted by topics and search terms so you can easily look at the different topic ideas rather than what is YouTube showing on position one. This will show you this in a more alphabetic kind of way how you can find related search terms and see what kind of permutations people are using for searching on the platform and how people are naming their YouTube videos. Now tip number nine is use the most tagged feature. And this works the following way. TubeBuddy will look at all the different videos and will pull out the information from the YouTube APIs. How many videos have used this particular tag and which were the tags that were most often combined with this specific tag. For example, someone might have the tag hamburger and they might have a second tag called cheese. So you might find that 30% of the videos who are using the tag cheeseburger also use the tag cheese. Now, this way you can find interesting correlations and it gives you some ideas how people are grouping topics and how people are using related search terms or related tags to drive more traffic to your videos. So by looking at some of the most popular videos or most common tags, you get more ideas how you can optimize your own tags with TubeBuddy. Now tip number 10 is you have to go back to some of the most popular videos that have been ranking on YouTube itself. You click on the video and TubeBuddy will show you a list of tags that this particular video is looking for. Now you locate this video, this tag section right next to the video and you're clicking on show search results. And this will tell you for which of the keywords they are ranking for. This will also give you like another indicator for which are really good tags for your future videos. And as I mentioned before, Every good tag is also always a great video idea for a future YouTube video. Now in conclusion, TubeBuddy is an amazing tool to find video topic ideas. I have used it since day one of starting my own YouTube channel. It's one of the best tools I have ever used and you can use it completely for free with a certain number of limitations. I recommend to get the paid version, the pro version, which is really cheap, especially if you have a new YouTube channel with less than 1000 subscribers, you just pay $4.50 per month and you get unlimited number of search and so many other cool features. I put the link for TubeBuddy in the first pinned comment below. If you want to check out, make sure that you click the link and install this. It's really free and you can decide if you want to upgrade later to the pro version.
Now, if you love this video, we'll also love my next video where I talk about how to find incredible video ideas by using Google and different tools within the Google platform. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to get an email update once this video is live. Now, if you have any questions on how to use TubeBuddy or how to find great video topic ideas for your YouTube channel, leave me your questions down in the comments below. If you want to work one-to-one -one with me on your YouTube channel strategy, check out the description below for my one-to-one -one VIP coaching sessions. Please give this video a like and check out those videos over here and over here to get more tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. And if you want to get first-hand access before anyone else on all future videos, join me on Patreon where you get behind-the-scenes access and you have the ability to suggest new content ideas and to ask me questions before I record my next video. So you can be very certain that your questions will be answered. So the link is also in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.